going to be used in a turnkey fat burner soon that has um, other stimulants in it in pre-selected synergies and dosages that I'm going to be releasing soon. The only thing that stays consistent is the grind. Hey, what is up guys? Very happy to be back today. Thank you guys for joining the channel. I hope that everybody's doing very, very well on your end. Uh, so I've been asked to do this video for quite some time. I get asked very, very often questions about the A2AM fat loss formula on uh, the Gorilla Mind website. It truly is an incredible product that has so much to offer. If you follow Derek's YouTube channel, he breaks down some of his products even to the point where like I think the Gorilla Mode uh, pre-workout breakdown was like over an hour. And so he got into every single detail of every single thing within that formula. And I think that was pretty awesome. Honestly, that's what sold me on it. He broke it down. Now, today's breakdown of the A2AM is not going to be like a Derek breakdown. Originally, when I thought about doing this video, I thought I would do it similar to how he did it. But guys, I realized over time, most of you guys tell me we like your videos and we like your breakdowns, Joe, because you don't do it like Derek. So I realized that would be completely pointless for, for me to do. So I'm going to be doing a very, very realistic, very easy to understand breakdown of what the A2AM formula is. Keep in mind, guys, going in, I'm not Derek. I'm not a doctor. I've done this research for you. Before I purchased the product, I did the research on my own. But I did some extra research for you guys so I can give you guys the best that I can when it comes to this because I want you guys to know what this is as much as possible. Keep in mind, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a pharmacist. I am nobody. I am simply someone who's used this stuff. I can tell you how to use it. I can tell you the benefits from it. I can tell you why you shouldn't use it. All the things I'm about to tell you now have been researched by myself, and I'm doing my very best to explain everything that I can for you. So please forgive me, guys. I'm not used to saying all these crazy words that you're going to hear. <laughs> I'll do my very best. Let's get into this. This is a product I've been taking for quite some time. I've told you guys in the past that it works. It absolutely does work. If you're looking for fat loss, it is very, very good. A lot of people, unfortunately, though, they take it uh, when they don't need to take it, and they also take it for reasons that they shouldn't be taking it for. So maybe this breakdown might help. We're gonna get into the products within the formula, and we're gonna talk a little bit about what those products do. Now, keep in mind, there is a ton of stuff within this A2AM for formula. Tons of, tons of ingredients. I'm saying this because the reason why Derek may have put some of these ingredients into his formula may be different than the reasons I'm telling you that they're in there or explaining to you what they do. For example, one of the formula's ingredients is called Naringin, right? This product has been shown in studies to help with fat loss by itself, but it's also found to help the bioavailability of different types of products that you might take it with, different supplements that you might take it with. So. Did Derek put it in there for the bioavailability factor or did he put it in there for the fat loss factor? That I don't know. So that's what I'm trying to explain to you. There may be different reasons why he put this stuff in. Who knows, guys? Maybe this will prompt Derek to throw out a video regarding the A2AM fat loss. I guarantee him that it will make him a ton, a ton of views because people are interested in this. And I think he actually intended to put a video out regarding this, but he ended up getting caught up because as you know, Derek is very, very busy. So let's try to let, let's try to make this a little less of like a Derek video. So a shorter video and less complicated video starting now. Keep in mind, there's side effects with everything. The dosages that were put into this product have clearly been uh, tested and, and been put in for a reason. So the side effects that I read to you, because I will talk about some of the side effects because these are questions that I've been asked. The side effects that I read to you may not happen at the dosage levels that are within the product. So keep that in mind. I might say some scary stuff as far as side effects, but you know, Caffeine, for example, you can die taking caffeine, but not if you have, you know, a cup of caffeine, you know what I mean? A cup of coffee or something like that. So keep that in mind too. Don't get scared. If you need any further research done, you can feel free to go ahead and do that. I don't think you do. Derek makes a solid product. Supplements within this product, they're more along the lines in, in many respects to experimental and also some of the supplements within this product may actually be illegal in your country. You know, some some of these products have actually been banned. Whether that should scare you or not, that's up to you. I don't think so. You know, p 
products are banned all the time and it depends on the country that you're going to if you, like when you order something from i think it's california on the back of on the back of the label it tells you this product causes cancer and it's like i ordered a pair of shoes what's going on so it might be something along those lines it depends on the country keep keep all these things in mind while we go throughout this review so first off we're going to talk about naringin naringin is a flavonoid as well as hesperidin again i'm probably going to say all these names wrong hesperidin hesperidin and naringin are both flavonoid compounds they come from plants within the citrus family okay so these are non-stimulants. You will find this particular non-stimulant in both the A2AM formula as well as the Camp PM formula, the non-stimulant fat loss uh, pill that Gorilla Mind has on their website, all right? I use both of them. I love both of them. I think they both work fantastically, okay? So what these products, the two mentioned, Naringin and Hesperidin, both of those products are good for lipid mobilization. They inhibit fatty acid synthesis. Synthesis, this is gonna happen a lot. They help prevent cancer, bone repair, blood vessel repair, metabolic syndromes. They have anti-inflammatory effects. They prevent the development of cardiovascular disease, oxidative damage to cells diabetes, cancer, diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia, and improve the bioavailability of other supplements that are taken with it. So this is a non-stimulant. It's going to help you to prevent the, the actual uh, synthesis of fat, and it's also gonna help move fat from your cells to be used as energy, okay? So these are two fantastic things that we see these products do. Uh, some of the side effects of both of these products are, if you take it, remember the dosages that are in the pill, that are in the, the product, these things may not happen at these dosages, but it also depends on who you are, how much you're taking, are you following the instructions and all that stuff, okay? So some of the side effects of these products are uh, naringin specifically is cough, dizziness, headaches, and flushing sensation, okay? Depending on who you are, you may actually like the <laughs> you may actually like these effects, but that is neither here nor there. That's up to you guys. Also keep in mind that these particular substances from the research that I've done show that they accumulate within your system. So depending on whether you're taking other, you know how the, the warning labels on the back of pills always tell you check with your doctor? Nobody really does that. And there, this would be a reason why you should, you know, because it, it does say on the back of every single bottle of pills that you buy, check with your doctor before you go and use them. That might be because maybe you're taking, for example, estrogen supplements, calcium channel blockers, high blood pressure medication, cholesterol lowering medications, or sedatives specifically what I found was you don't want to take this particular these two particular supplements if you're taking any of those because eventually if you keep taking those supplements they can build up in your system which can affect adversely affect uh, the other type of medications that you're taking so something else that I also noticed again like I mentioned earlier is the um, the naringin can actually be a help you with bioavailability. So I don't know if this particular product was put in because of the fat loss properties, because of the bioavailability properties that it allows for other supplements to have when taken, but it could could have been put in for both. I really don't know. Only Derek would be able to answer that. Maybe he'll come out, like I said, with a video. I think he did plan on coming out with one, but he just got too busy. Maybe he'll throw one out and uh, help us to understand more about his amazing formula and why he created it in the way he, that he did. And some of the stuff that you want to watch out for as far as hesperidin goes is it can interact with anticoagulants, blood pressure drugs, and calcium channel blockers. So keep that in mind too. As far as the compounds go, they're both very similar. They both have very similar side effects when, when taken too much of. And uh, you just want to be careful if you're taking any types of medication. Okay, so the next product that we're looking at that is within this formula is green tea extract. This is a non-stimulant. You'll find it in the A2AM as well as the PM, the Camp PM product. This is going to promote weight loss, blood sugar regulation. This is going to help with general disease prevention, which is pretty cool. Exercise recovery, healthy skin, and prevent cancer. Obviously, this is in this product because it is, it is beneficial in a weight loss form. I'm just explaining to you some of the other stuff that I found. Thought you guys might find it interesting, okay? Now, I couldn't find any specific um, bad side effects. I'm sure there's some out there, but I, I really looked for some bad side effects. The only bad side effects that I found were people telling you that you are going to end up getting uh, the overdosing of caffeine side effects, uh, something that we'll get into in a little bit. 
But you don't have to worry about this for this particular product because there's such low levels in there as far as, you know, caffeine goes because I, I guess it's a decaffeinated form of the green tea extract. Uh, there's such low levels of ca caffeine in there, you don't have to worry about it. So that's fine as far as that goes. If you guys find any other um, down downward side effects of the green tea uh, extract, feel free to let, them know, let us know in the comments. Maybe it could help somebody out. Um, so only good stuff as far as that goes. So this next product is a stimulant. This is caffeine. We're all very, very familiar with caffeine, right? Uh, caffeine affects the central nervous system. It creates a feeling of alertness and reduces fatigue. It alleviates tension headaches in combination with pain relievers. That's pretty awesome, right? We all know about that stuff. Uh, it can help improve athletic performance, okay? Side effects. Side effects of caffeine, you guys are very well aware of these too. Uh, restlessness, shakiness, insomnia, headaches, dizziness, fast heart rate, dehydration, and anxiety, to name a few, because there's even more than that. Oh, dependency, <laughs> dependency. We, I know very much about that. You gotta have your cup of coffee every single day, Joe. Don't forget, or else you're gonna get a massive headache and then depend on the caffeine and the, <laughs> and the pain relievers to help make that headache go away. Uh, so dependency and increased heart rate or stroke depending on how much you take. So very important, even with something so common as caffeine, you have to watch out, all right? The next thing that we're gonna discuss is a stimulant as well. It has a couple of names, Aria Jarensis Extract or n this increases dopamine, increases adrenaline, it increases euphoric sensations, it helps with concentration, alertness, and focus, it has appetite reduction properties, it is a bronchodilator, which means that it helps you to open up your airways in case you need to breathe better. You might find people who have asthma using this particular product, um, and it reduces feelings of anxiety and it has less of a crash than standard caffeine. That's the stuff that I found as far as this goes, okay? It is a stimulant, and because it is a stimulant, rapid heart rate, increase in blood pressure, and increase in chance of heart attack and stroke with this particular supplement. I believe this was one of the supplements that was on the ban list in a couple of countries. I could be wrong, but I do believe it was. Um, clearly not where I am in the US because I have it on my shelf. So the next is a non-stimulant that is Forskolin, root extract from the mint family. Very, very cool what we can get from nature. Prevention of heart disease, prevention of irritable bowel syndrome, prevention of urinary tract infections, prevention of eczema, asthma, thyroid disease, and high blood pressure, and glaucoma. Look at that. It also has weight loss and muscle building properties according to the limited amount of studies that have been done on this product. Keep in mind, a lot of the stuff that we're talking about have not been heavily researched, and if they have been heavily researched, you're gonna find tons of information like I did saying it works, and then tons of information saying it doesn't work. Just like most studies, which is why you can't always go by studies, you're gonna get contradicting information, okay? So keep that in mind. This is also gonna come down to who, who you're buying from. Do you trust the person you're buying from? Do you trust the brand? I trust Derek, as many of you guys do if you're watching this channel, so I trust that he's done his research and given the best that he can as far as his supplements go. Side effects of Forskolin are rapid or irregular heart rate, okay? I think you'd have to take a pretty large amount for that to happen, um, especially it being a non-stimulant, but um, yeah, so let's move on. The next is a non-stimulant as well. Oh, all the non-stimulants that, that I'm reading from, they will be found in the Camp PM product, all right? So keep in mind, all the non-stimulants found in that other product, all the stimulant stuff, you're gonna find the A2AM as well as the non-stimulant stuff, okay? The non-stimulant stuff, you're gonna find breakdown fatty acids, um, help to mobilize them for energy and also prevent the, uh, the accrual of new fat, okay? That's what most of these other products do, the non-stimulant ones, which is actually what sets Derek's stuff aside from most of the other products, but we'll get into that later on the market, most of the other products on the market. So the next non-stimulant is paradoxin, or grains of paradise, all right? Increased energy expenditure, increased fat loss, increase in thermogenesis, increase in brown fat conversion, 
improved lipid levels, improved digestion, and will stop the accumulation of fat and burn existing fat, which I kind of got into already, but just another great way to say it to kind of break down what it does for you. A non-stimulant, and I didn't find any type of negative side effects to it. I couldn't find anything. Maybe you guys can find something or know of it. Maybe you take it. Let us know in the comments. All right. So after that, we have a stimulant. This is called Theophylline. Theophylline. Theophylline? Something like that. Okay. Chemical related to caffeine. You got the ene at the end. That, that should have been kind of like a giveaway. So this will have a stimulant effect on your central nervous system, which means more energy for you to help you burn more fat. The more you move, the more fat you burn, okay? This is a bronchodilator, just like some of the other products that were mentioned, and it is an appetite suppressant, okay? Side effects. And caffeine, by the way, is a bronchodilator too depending on how you use it, all right? Side effects, nausea, vomiting, stomach, <laughs> stomach ache, abdominal pain, headache, trouble sleeping, diarrhea, irritability, restlessness, nervousness, shaking, or increased urination. I can tell you all of these things can probably be found when taking this product to an extent, especially if you're new to taking it. I gave my wife three pills once because she was tired and she wanted to exercise. Never again. Isopropylnorsiferine or deteranol. This is a stimulant and a bronchodilator. It is related to synephrine. Maybe you guys have heard of synephrine. Capable of breaking down fat to be used as energy. Some of the side effects are increased heart rate and heart contraction, nausea, vomiting, sweating, agitation, palpitations, which, you know, might go along with that whole contraction thing, uh, chest pain, and cardiac arrest. Does not sound like fun, right? Um, but again, these are appropriately dosed, and if they're legal in your country, then you should be fine taking them as long as you feel comfortable taking them along with your doctor's advice, okay? Which I am not. So the next is a non-stimulant. Many of you will know what this is. Bioparine or Piperine. Bioparine is just the copyrighted name, if that's the right term, copyrighted name of piperperine, pip piperine, piperine or piperin. However you say it, it's the copyrighted name. It's a, it's the specific formula that this company makes in order to have it more bioavailable than the normal standard uh, piperine, right? So this blocks the formation of new fat cells in your body, enhances nutrient absorption, absorption, stabilizes blood sugar levels, combats cancer cell growth, decreased inflammation, and boosts brain function. Of course, it depends on the dosage you're taking, but just a side. Um, so boost in brain function, side effects can be upset stomach, nausea, and constipation. Again, you know, at the levels you're taking it at, it probably would have nothing to do with why you'd feel a little bit upset if you did take it. That wasn't a stimulant, the bioparine, not a stimulant. All right, the next one that you guys are gonna be really, really excited about, something that I was really, really excited about, something that you can actually buy separately from not only Derek, but on the market. You can find this on the market, but I would purchase from Derek because you know what you're getting. You know that it's gonna be top quality stuff, no matter what it is, is the Raul sign, okay? Oh, I said it right for the first time without having to warm up first. Fat loss via mobilizing fat stores and energy expression, appetite suppression, stimulant of the central nervous system. It has side effects, just like everything else. The jitters, racing heart, a feeling of anxiousness, general feeling of being unwell. Strangely enough, you'll also find some of the side effects being uh, a feeling of well-being, you know, we, weird. This is why science sometimes doesn't make sense. Uh, science is good for many things, but you know, very contradicting when it comes to a lot of different things. How do you have a general feeling of being unwell while have a general feeling of well-being? Completely contradictory. <laughs> However it affects you, that's what you have to worry about, okay? Uh, personally, I don't find that it makes me have a general feeling of well-being. I feel like it probably goes a little bit more towards the feeling of unwell, but with this particular product, the caffeine, I believe, balances it out very, very well. And when you have the both of them together, the caffeine and the Raoul sign to working in, you know, synergistically, I believe it really makes you feel balanced and it gives you a good overall feeling with a lot of usable energy. I think we're actually at the end of the list as far as that goes. Now, um, Overall, this product, it you guys want to know about it, right? It's an amazing product. I personally love it. I've been taking it for quite some time. It's helped me to overcome 
weight loss fatigue. So when you're dieting for a while and when you're tired of dieting, you may, you may slowly, because you're intaking less calories, you may not want to move as much. This stuff is going to keep you going. It's a tool like I've mentioned in the past. When should you use this tool? You should use it, in my opinion, after you've already lost a majority of your weight or if you just cannot work out, you have zero energy, which may actually indicate that there's a bigger problem that you need to worry about. But let's just say you don't have any energy. This stuff's going to give you energy. I recommend following the instructions. I recommend taking the smallest dose that is going to help you with your overall goal. Okay. Now, by taking a smaller dose of the product, keep in mind, you're going to be taking less of the other products that are in it. So for example, the dosages are broken up in the back of the bottle as two pills or four pills. At four, the four pill mark, you are getting the maximum dosage of each of these products that we spoke about. You're getting the maximum dosage. At one pill, you're not. At two pills, you're not. At three pills, you're not getting the max dosage. That means that those pill, those, those, not pills, but those supplements will not be working at their utmost. But does that mean you need to take the four pills all the time? Absolutely not. The reason why is guys, again, I'm no scientist, I'm no doctor. The, the propri proprietary blend that Derek has here is amazing. And all these products in here have been researched and studied and shown to do something when it comes to fat loss. Okay. They have, as we've just mentioned, but at the end of the day, are they going to do more for you than you moving in general? Are they going to do more for you than your exercising in general, your eating habits? Are they going to do more for you than your eating habits will? Absolutely not. So if you can get away with taking one pill, even if it's not optimal as far as the other supplements within it go, because you're not getting the most that you need in order to see an effect, I would say, Take it anyway. Take one pill. Take two pills. Take three pills. And if you want to take four pills, take four pills. It's an amazing product. I recommend it. Um, do I like it better than the straight Raoul sign? Yes, I do. I do. When you take the straight Raoul sign, right, from, uh, you know, no matter who you take it from, but I purchased it from Derek. When you take that, it basically makes you feel kind of like a mess. It makes it makes you feel like an energetic mess. And personally, I don't use it for uh, bodybuilding because of that. I use it just for um, cardio training, like I mentioned to you guys in the past, because you don't want to be under a heavy amount of weight, having to control that heavy weight when you are using something that is going to cause you to feel a little bit Ner like nerve wracked, you're going to feel a little burnt on it. Um, it's a, it's, it's in the Yohimbine family. So Yohimbine is worse than it. And if you've ever tried Yohimbine, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Cause it's the same feeling, but just less amplified. Okay. Uh, I would still recommend it. I would recommend if you take the Raul sign, you have some coffee with it because I feel as though the caffeine helps to balance the nervousness with a feeling of energy that can be then put, put towards a a purpose, a use. Without the caffeine, I feel as though it's a little bit tough to handle for me. But remember, I'm a different size than you. I'm a different weight than you. You may not feel like that's an, a factor. So you can even in that case, take it if you want to bodybuild it. At the end of the day, that's how I feel. Okay. I take it for cardio. Let's get into the cardio. Will it be more beneficial whether you take the Raul sign or the A2AM? Either one. Will it be more beneficial if you are on an empty stomach? Yes, the reason why is because it is going to help you use fat or that's already in your body as an actual energy source, okay? It's going to help to break down the fat cell and use it as an energy. If you're eating, your body's not going to do that, okay? If you eat beforehand, your body's not going to do that. Is this that big a deal to me? No, it's not. Personally, I have taken, I've taken the pills and then eaten maybe a half an hour later. The reason why is because even though this stuff helps you very much when it comes to being hungry and help to, to stave off your appetite, uh, it suppresses your appetite very well, I find personally that when you go ahead and you eat, I, I perform better after I've eaten in the gym. So I would rather eat, but I also want the energy ahead of time. So what I will do sometimes, if I'm not gonna use it fasted, which will burn the most fat, the most fat, if I'm not going to use it fasted, I will take the pills, however many I think I need, wait about a half an hour or 40 minutes so that the energy is already, 
you know, going throughout me, I have that energy and then I'll eat something. The energy maintains its course because you're taking it separately and you can get your bodybuilding done you can, or, or your cardio because I use it for cardio. You get your cardio done and then you can not be hungry also. So that's going to help you there. I don't personally believe that the fat loss, the actual fat loss potential is that is going to be that much different. Okay. This, like I said, many of the, the supplements in this will help you to lose weight. They will help you to use your own fat stores as energy. But are you going to be losing that much extra weight to the point where, you know, you have to be using it fasted in order for these to work properly and, and you know, do what they need to do? I don't think so. I really don't think so. I've seen great results after having eaten with it, and I've seen great results when I'm uh, fasted with it. So if you can do it fasted, go for it. If you can't do it fasted or you're worried about your protein intake, don't worry about it. I would say take the pills first and then go ahead and eat. I wouldn't worry too much about it. At the end of the day, what is going to cause you to lose weight more than anything in these pills? Movement and diet. That's what it is, guys. So that's what I would say. Now, what sets these pills apart from any of the other pills on the market? As you can see, a lot of this blend is dosed at the right dose if at, at the maximum uh, the maximum four pills right everything is dosed properly especially when paired with the camp pm you take the am in the morning the pm at night all of those levels uh of product are building up in your system in order to create the overall fat loss that you're going to have throughout the day they're going to do a great, great job for that. A lot of other diet pills out there, they don't give you the proper dosing, number one. And number two, they're going to, um, they're basically just going to be uppers, right? Something that's going to give you energy to move and then you're probably going to crash later, okay? As far as crash goes, I don't see any crash on these. I've never felt a crash from these personally. I have heard some people say that they have. I've never experienced a crash, and I think that's because of the proprietary, proprietary blend that's in it. I do believe that the stimulants in it all act differently. So you're, you're going to get one stimulant that's going to hit you first, then a stimulant that's going to give you energy for the long term, and then another stimulant later on for maybe the interim, things like this, okay? They're all going to act a little bit differently. They're all going to do a slightly different thing to give you an overall amazing effect. With a lot of the other pills on the market, you don't see a blend like this. You'll see underdosed stuff, and you'll find stuff that is just going to give you a quick pick-me-up, and uh, then going to cause you to crash later. So when you crash, you're not going to have usable energy because now you've crashed and you're actually burning less weight and you didn't get that sustainable of a workout because you didn't last as long as, as you needed to last. So much different than anything else on the, on the market, much different than any other fat burner. It's expensive, but it's expensive for a reason. And honestly, for the amount of stuff you're getting in the A2 AM, I think that it's very reasonable as far as the price goes. It's expensive, but I think for what you're getting, it's reasonable. Okay, so you can also just take the Raul sign if that's something you want to do. That's going to help you a lot, especially if you add it to coffee. Great stuff. A lot of the heavy, heavy hitters in this product are the caffeine, the Raul sign, and I think the Forskolin. The other stimulants in it, I think they're great. I think they do have a place. They are sold separately um, you know, for people who want to do that. But I think those are the heavy hitters. Even though the Forskolin, it's not really that heavily researched, I do believe that it has a lot of promise. And I do believe it probably works. Have I seen results on it? Absolutely, I've seen results on it. I hope this video helped, guys. Maybe Derek will throw out a video on his own so he can give you that scientific, extra-long breakdown that he's he's well-known for. I've been asked many, many times to do a video like this, so I hope you guys appreciate it. Please feel free to like, subscribe, follow, support the channel, leave a comment, let me know you appreciate this video. If you want to see more things like this, what I did good, what I did bad, hit me up, guys, let me know. Appreciate every single one of you. Be safe. Catch you all at the next video.